yellow guys and of course welcome back uh, on the previous video uh, about basketball I did post a video but I was using a different bookmarker which was sporting bet and I think it sort of confused people most people are not familiar with sporting bet so someone asked me to use betway still same thing but betway so what i will do now we'll go straight to basketball this is betway platform of course for those who don't know uh, this is the home page so i'll just go to the left here and select basketball once i select basketball so basically uh, i want to show you now uh, how to bet basketball but a market not just betting basketball and choosing teams to win no 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 we are playing a specific market here and that market is over and under so it's basically the totals that's the market that we are going to play here the totals because that's what i did that's what i posted before but it was on sporting bet so people wanted to see it here on betway and i'm doing it now so this is basketball these are the matches uh these are the upcoming matches this one is at nine okay but i don't want to bet i don't want to bet on these matches by the way for those who don't know this is basketball matches as you can see it's like a three it's a three-way market similar to football you can select throw between this team which is hardly uh, which is very very unlikely it's you hardly see a throw in basketball or you can say this team will win or the away team will win so it's simple it's just like that same thing uh, as when you're betting football so of course when you want to bet uh, on other markets besides this three market you go to more bets or more markets so which is the same thing you just come here and select here on more bets so it's basically it's the same thing as in soccer as you can see there you will see a lot of markets can you see there a winner including over time okay this one is a three-way market as you know it draw no bet the totals as you can see there over under so it's over 145 points as you know that basketball uh, there's points that are scored so you just say over 145 handicap like there's a lot of things there's a whole lot of things so i want to focus on overs but i don't want to focus on overs on a match that hasn't started so i will just do this go back what I want to do is I want to show you now that strategy of using average and um, using average points when we're betting uh, the totals, the market totals. But I want to use live matches because it's very easy. That strategy works better on on live matches rather than having to analyze a match so let me see these are live matches uh let me see let me see let me see okay oh this one is on first quarter this one is on third quarter okay i will make an example with this match i will make an example with this match the second match i don't want to i don't want to take uh okay no let me make an example with this man this is the second match i think this is the best match this is the match between uni universidad de catolica versus cds quali quali cura basket so this is the match between these two so what i will do is i will come here on top on bed type and select uh with this over and under so we'll select totals i'll just okay no nope, it's this one this one excluding uh, what is this it's excluding uh, over time in case of a throw 
there will be overtime so it's excluding that if you choose this one so i will choose this one i don't want to include overtime because sometimes it happens that there's a throw in these things so you see now it's in i've just selected overs there so now it will be easy to select over so i told you we are using this match as a as our example so now this is how the strategy works for those who don't know just a recap for those who don't know basketball is played in four quarters first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter and each quarter has each quarter has 10 minutes so this match is also live it's an ongoing match and currently it's uh on third quarter as you can see see now 10 minutes 20 minutes so it's 22 minutes now 22 minutes 36 seconds has been played i'm sure now the match has been paused for like whatever reason maybe it's a it's a break you know yeah maybe it's a it's a, it's a time out it's not called a break it's a time out or no maybe the match is continuing yeah, the match is continuing now maybe there was a foul or something but yeah so the match has 23 minutes gone and the score is 58 25 so this is what we can do you must open your calculator there's a calculator so what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the score of these teams 58 28 let me see 58 plus 28 so the overall score here is 86 when you're adding the sum of these the sum of the scores is 58 28 divide by the time that has been played i think it's 24th minute instead of saying 23 just say 24 because you can see this is almost 24th minutes 23 40 seconds so it's just 20 seconds left so you are right to say divide by 24 so this 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 is an average this this answer is an average this it's 86 divided by 24 yeah so this is an average um it's like 3.58 point points per minute so that's an average uh, per minute so if you times this by 40 you will find out that the score that is expected here is at least above 140 so it's 143 so that's what you expect you expect at least the score to be somewhere there 143 or above you know not below but somewhere there so come on that match and say select a market here whoa 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 now it's a pity that we cannot find a market what is happening okay select again as you can see these markets are not highlighted you can see you can select these over 146 over 146.5 over 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 the only market that is available is over 149 but question is is it safe for us to choose 149 with our average uh, strategy no it's not safe because our average strategy is showing us 143 just six points below that so it will be risky we'll be risking six points so imagine now we have to grind six points somewhere here for this uh, uh bet to be a success so let me see what i will suggest is add the old score again as you can see look at the score look at the score 60 and 30 now but the time is still 24 so it's 90 90 divided by 24 that average is increasing now times 24 i mean 40 now it's 150 so as you can see that average now we can play over 150 it's safe that's a good average so let's play that it's a good average so if you play that just place a 20 we're making an example of course there we go okay we've decided to bet on that 
Mm, now it's taking time to confirm the bet. Now the bet is we've just placed the bet. What did we do? We've waited. We decided to wait. We try. We tried to 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 sort of check the average using the current score, and we found out that the average was too low. And then we decide to wait a minute, and then we see the teams that are scoring further. So what you can do is you can keep on checking the average as the score, as the score, as the match progresses and the score is getting higher and higher. For instance, now it's 63 and 30. So if you say 63 and 30, you can see whether you are winning or losing. 63 plus 30 divide by what's the time. Let's see what's the time. The time is 25. Oh, it's even the score is no longer 63, it's 65 now, as you can see. And in 25 minutes. So it's 63 plus, oh, 65 plus 30. Divide by 25. Look at the average times 40. So you're expecting this thing, you're expecting the overall points, like the total points, to be over 150. Expected, expecting them to be at 152 on that average. Of course, that average might decrease as the match progresses if the teams don't score, but clearly the teams will score here. But let's check our bet. What did we bet? I want us to check our bet quickly. So we're going to do this and check our bets. What does our bet mean? So our bet, uh, we've used 20 run and we said over 149. If you check that, over 149. Currently, look at the time there. I think we're still safe. We're still safe, but it's very, very tight. Why am I saying so? Because that average seems too tight. When we count that average, it brings us to exactly 152. And we've bet 100 and over 149 so it's just three points over that so it's very tight but let's see let's see so as you can see the teams look at the teams the teams are scoring now 67 32 let me just go back to my calculator 67 plus 32 divide by 26 you can see the average is increasing Look at that. The average is increasing. So we're good. We are very good. Look at that. The time is ticking nice and slowly and the score is increasing nice and steady. So it means that we are winning this bet currently. We are winning this bet. But let's wait and see. But I don't think we'll be able to wait and see until this bet gets to, you know, but as you can see, look at that. Look at this. Look at the points now. This team just got extra two points. So it's 34, 67. So it means that we are good currently in 26 minutes, 30 seconds. So it's 64, I mean 67, 34. That's what the score is currently. So this is the that's the strategy of uh, average using average and to bet the totals in basketball. It's exactly what I've posted using a sporting bet, but now it's it's just that I'm using betway. So it's exactly that. Uh, you can see now 69.34 in 27 minutes. 69.34. Divide by 27 minutes. Oh, nice. So that's 3.81 times 40. Damn, that's good. Now the average is sitting at 152.4. No longer 152. So it means that this, these teams are scoring and it's a good thing. And the time is moving slow. Look at that. 71.34 in 27 minutes. 71 plus 34. Divide by 27 minutes. Look at that, look at that. Now, look at that. According to the average, current average, the score will be above 155. It will, the score will get to at least 155.5.
so we are safe because we said over 149.5 once you reach that once you once you average um your total uh average is above that by six points is above what you've bet on that 149 by six points then you know that your bet is safe i mean six points is quite a lot so for the average to sort of slow down the teams one have to score for at least a minute which is impossible so that's good so this average is all right and i think this bet is true even though it will take some time to finish because there's still 13 minutes to play not a lot of time but i mean yeah so 13 minutes to play and yeah and we are doing good so yeah that's it guys that's the strategy of course this was just a small bet to show you this strategy live betting uh, the strategy the strategy of average uh, in in betting and basketball average when betting the market totals which means overs and unders so i do believe that uh, this average strategy it's a good one especially when you're betting for overs rather bet for overs than unders if when you add your your your, your average as we did at the first we did the average and then we got to 140 45 and then we found out that the score the score the score there's no option for over 145 the option said it's 150 so we can't really bet for under 150 betting for under is it's a little bit i don't like it under betting for under it's i rather wait for the average maybe bet when the when the match reaches the 30th minutes and then bet and see whether the average will be uh good for over for choosing an over rather than an under so yeah so currently we're sitting at 74 plus 36 that's 110 and we still have 11 minutes to play so 110 so at least that's 39 points left okay not bad not bad at all this bet is uh, is going to be a win but anyway uh you can track it later to see if it's a win but i promise you this is a win because this strategy is very good but nevertheless uh yeah if you feel like you have any questions and uh, you need me to answer them just give me a feedback and i'll do it as you please as of, as of course just lastly you can see the cash out there once the cash out is like this once the cash out you see that line once the cash out is so green it means that it's promising your bet is promising now they are charming you they are fishing you to cash out so that you don't make um so that they don't make losses because they will make losses if you uh wait you don't cash out you just kill them but now they want you to cash out imagine cashing out 18 rand but you put 20 rand so you know so they are clever there once that cash out is so much interesting it comes until you you must know that your bet is close to being um done you know what i mean it's it's a success so rather wait otherwise yeah that's it if you have any questions you know what to do